I got something to you that you may not want. It says your name in a big red font. I really don't want it. You can take it away. I really don't want it. Do you hear what I say? I got something for you. Don't you understand? Please don't ignore it. It's a final demand. I really don't want it. I told you before. Now disappear before this becomes war. Don't you dumb Hi, my name's Wayne Tanswell. I'm a traditional sign writer based in Suffolk. I'm here in London today at AS Handover to launch my new book, The Essential Guide to Hand-Painted Signs. The content of the book includes the three different ways of holding a brush. There's two um, brush stroke charts, the italic brush stroke chart and the block brush stroke chart, a mole stick control, tools and equipment, there's even an interview in here with Dave Peacock. Um, he's one half of the Cockney duo, Chaz and Dave. There's a little bit about me, life as a sign writer, working on a traditional skill in a modern age. Don't you, don't you the messenger, the bills they keep on hand. I just need some understanding. As well as layout and design, um, mixing up paint, holding the mole stick, the most important thing in the book are the two charts. There's the italic chart and the block chart. Um, I'm going to demonstrate in a minute how to use these um, six brush strokes. You'll notice there's two, there's 5A and 5B, but the rest is just single strokes. With these, we're going to paint letter. We, it's a great technique where you don't really need to even draw out the letters. Um, there's also as well as these two different charts, there are three different ways of holding the brush. Um, the first way of holding the brush is to hold it on a 45 degree angle to get the italics. And then with the block chart, there's two other ways of holding the brush, and that's vertical and horizontal. And then just finally, the third way is just holding it, the block chart, but we hold the block chart to do italics. And that's where we get all the casual and flash lettering from. So the italic chart does script in Old English, the block chart does for your Times New Roman, Bookman, um, and Ariel, anything like that. And then um, finally holding the brush on the third option is for casual lettering. I got something for you here in my hand. I'm not going to take it. I need a few grand. I'm trying to help you like it or not. The mole stick is more than just a tool just to rest your hand on. Firstly, I always balance it under the palm of my hand with two fingers there. Use the paint dipper with the other two fingers in the thumb. And then the brush, the hand that holds the brush, you also rest the palm of your hand on. So I'm going to just show you um, why I need a mole stick. Okay, people often ask me, why do I use a mole stick? But it's to control um, the flow of the brush. For instance, painting a small letter, you know, about uh, number plate size, you can just use with the flick of your wrist and come down. And you often see sign writers also using their little finger because they can do exactly the same with their little finger. But when you construct bigger letters, you'll notice also when I was doing that, um, my left hand here, didn't do no work at all, I just painted from top to bottom. But if I want to paint a letter that's about eight inches high or 20 centimetres high, I now, you put the ball of the stick about halfway through the lettering, and now um, you, you lift your left hand up and then bring the stick down with you. And it works exactly the same for doing curved letters. You can lift the stick up, put your brush on, and bring the stick down with you. If you go any further than that, you find you come down and the sticks, I'm exaggerating this, starts to go in a bit of a curve. That's when you need to use the stick and bring it down parallel. So I'm taking the stick down with me. A bit like the little finger was balancing um, on the shorter letters. I'm using the stick and dragging it down parallel. So that's fine. And um, you can also do this with a, a larger curve letter. Now, if you're doing short curve letters, it's absolutely fine to use your little finger as a pivot, just to paint round short curve letters. Absolutely fine to work like that. But if you're working 
and you've got to paint um, a letter that's about two foot high or a, a foot high you can put the ball of your stick in place and bring your writing pen instead of working towards the end of the stick the mole stick you bring your hand further down the mole stick and so it works like a giant compass and the closer I take my writing hand to the end of the stick I can paint smaller curved letters and so on till I don't need a stick at all and I just use my little finger so that mole stick is vital the other thing I use it for is for adding pressure so I've got here flat and tip and that what what I mean by that is once I go to paint a letter if I lay all the hairs flat I can put the pressure on by pushing the stick in but if I want to paint a thin letter um, so it's right push flat there if I want to paint a thin letter I just bring the stick towards me and use the tip of the brush so the same size brush you can paint a thick letter and a thin letter so and also if I'm doing the italics like I will show you in a minute I'm using the tip of the brush here and then when I want to lay the hairs flat I push my stick in and then pull it back out towards myself so this is very much left hand's doing a lot of work it's going up and down in and out and also I'm using the stick as a compass as well as using it to paint parallel lines anything small you can use your little finger okay there's three ways of holding a brush the first way is to hold it at a 45 degree angle so it's thin going up and thick coming down this we use that for the italic chart from chart one the second way of holding the brush is to hold it so it's vertical and horizontal and finally the third way is also from chart two and hold the brush on an angle so if you're painting italics you hold the brush at a 45 degree angle if you're doing the block chart you're holding it vertical and horizontal and with painting this chart you twist the brush around so you get in the thick edge of the brush the whole time the beautiful thing about the italic chart is you hold the brush constantly for all six strokes on the 45 degree angle I'm not gonna take it why don't you understand okay okay I should okay. take it away. Um, in the book I've clearly mapped out the six strokes so this can be used in any country there's no it's color coded so when you're painting the six strokes you just follow the color coded chart which is in the book here and that will also tell you in what order to paint say an S is the first stroke the second stroke is the the, uh, the green there and so on and so you'll, you'll notice here very few of them have four strokes the rest most of them are done in two or three strokes which you'll find in the six in the uh, essential guide to hand painted signs um, the other thing you'll need of course is some um, quality brushes and they're made here at Handover in London, AS Handover. Um, in the book, all the exercises I've done in the book, I've used um, from the uh, Handover brushes 2112 series. Um, they're chisel edge writer's brushes, they're made of sable. There's their logo and that's where you buy the tools and equipment for everything I've used in this book. I'm not gonna take it. Why don't you understand? Okay, okay, I should take it away. It's not my problem. I'll have my say. He got the message at long last for trying to deliver a letter from my past. Don't you the messenger? I just 